Oh, oh. Stop so low. That was scary, guys. I'm scared. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a quick follow-up review of the Bruce Lee Edition Pulse IX2 that just released a short while ago. Um, if you guys are still in Australia and New Zealand, these might still be available on Osmod Shop. Last time I checked, they didn't sell out yet, but overseas, most places have been sold out. There was only 3,000 of these made for each size, so get in while you can. If you haven't seen the review for the X2 already, you can go watch that because that is where I actually go in depth. So on this one, we're only talking about what the changes are and if this version is actually better or if it's just a colorway change, right? Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Happy Chinese New Year, everyone. If you celebrate Chinese New Year, I hope you guys spend a great day with your family around now. Lots of free money for you and just have a good time together because all of our times here are limited. I'm stuck here by myself. I don't have anyone to go with. You know, I do miss my family as well, especially my grandparents. So in China, they're getting old and I really need to go see them soon. Jump straight into it. So the box is different from before. It comes with a Bruce Lee face on it. It's actually really cool. This whole thing's really cool and lots of printing. Uh, on the inside this time, uh, it actually comes with a different kind of cover. So previously it was like a plastic acrylic cover, but this one's actually a lot more premium, makes the whole thing look a lot nicer. And it looks like this. So, pull the thing out. The receiver would normally be sitting there, but mine's already gone. It's over there, as you can see. And it comes with a little box that has a Bruce Lee quote and all of that. So, pretty cool stuff. And just all around, this is significantly better packaging than uh, what I could ever hope for. Well, at least compared to the regular X2, this is an entire different level. So, inside the little pack, you get lots of cool things again. You get a little limited edition card, right? That says um, Bruce Lee edition and all that. If you guys like collecting cards, you'll know this is kind of your thing. Uh, there is also one holographic one that one lucky person around the world will get. Unfortunately, I am not that lucky. One thing to note, they all say one of 3000, so don't worry, you did not get the first one. The actual way to check what your number is, is to check the number out down the bottom here. So I have 167. Additionally, you get a pair of super glides, right? So Pulsar makes super glides. It's their um, glass skate that they make for all kinds of mice, uh, all brands and models, and it's been kind of the new hype. Oh, not new anymore, but it's been kind of hype. People like them. I've tried these before on my final mice. At the end of the day, I thought like they were cool for a bit and then I just got went back to PTFE eventually. A second pair of PTFE skates for if you do rip the original off, try the super glides, don't like them and you want to go back to the OG. Additionally, the instruction manual well, with lots of uh, Bruce Lee stuff on it all over the place as well. I think that's pretty cool. And a Bruce Lee sticker and a Pulsar sticker. So all around, lots of little cool add-ons and I like the fact that they gave you extra skates and the super glides as well. These aren't exactly cheap. So that's where all around the uh, markup pricing for the mouse came from because normally they're 150 Australian dollars. Uh, this one sold for 190, so that's $40 more. They had to get a licensing fee for using Bruce Lee's name with it, obviously. So they put in a few extra goodies as well. So overall, it's still a really good package deal. Most importantly, the mouse itself is an upgrade. Between this and the regular Pulse IX2s, uh, aside from a colorway change, which by the way, because I stuck grips and changed this to core pads, I can't actually make you guys see there's like extra designs and everywhere. Bruce Lee's color is black and yellow, so me sticking black grips onto this yellow mouse doesn't actually make it look that bad. Uh, either way, little printing on the scroll wheel too, some Chinese writing on it, just all around the aesthetic is pretty nice. The most important thing about this mouse compared to the regular X2 is that it has changed switches on the um, clicks. So if you guys watch the original review, the one thing I complain about the Pulse X2 is the clicks were absolutely terrible, but this, this is great, right? So now this has officially become what I think is the single best mouse on the market for practical use because shape is great, weight is good, distribution is good, everything was good, except the clicks were shit, but these clicks are fucking excellent. So, so yeah, that, that's it. That's the review, right? It's a good mouse now. It's beyond a good mouse now because the clicks are good. So these have gone to optical switches. Now, if you don't know what optical switches are, it's also why people are so hyped over Wooting keyboards because those also use uh, analog switches, which is also something to do with opticals, right? Um, the factory that makes the optical switches makes the same ones for Razer, except for Razer optical switches are patented. So that's a Razer special design. Uh, these ones are just regular optical switches that everyone is allowed to use. But the same factory makes them, so you know that the uh, quality is of standard. They work well, they click nice. I still think the uh, Lamzu Atlantis has better clicks. I am a fan of that Huano Blue Shell Pink Dots, which is really nice and crispy and that mechanical kind of feeling. But this is still very good. This is still very good. And that's literally the entire review, right? All I can say is I like the cool stuff. I kind of like the color. The clicks are perfect. Done. This is now it. This is the one. Buy this if you haven't already. 
uh, if you can get your hands on one, get your hands on one. Starting from now on, all Pulsar mice that they're releasing this year will start using Opticals too, which is good. There's not much more to say other than if you're hesitating, if you're waiting, buy it. Just buy it. This is this is the one, right? Just buy this edition. Don't buy the regular, unless you don't have a choice. Buy this if you can. All right. See you guys.